Okay, in this video, we are going to learn how to create blueprint clocks. This is my clock. An hour hand, a minute hand, and a second hand. For objects, all of them have their pivot point in zero coordinates. Select them and export where you need it. I've already made this. It has UV's second channel, just in case. Okay, let's see. Material testing. Here they are. Select them all and import here. Then just move them here because they have the same coordinates, so they will be placed onto their own places. Create a folder. BP or Blueprint. Now, click the right mouse button and choose Blueprint class. Actor. Type BP Clock. Here, you need to upload your ob objects. Where are they? Add components. Here, static mesh and multiple assets. I don't know why they are in Hierarchy. Actually, it should be vice versa. Attach, attach. It should like this. Decrease your speed. Now, go to event graph and delete these things. So, here's our scheme. Now, add a now node. Then, add Get our node. Oh wait, it's in a 24 hour format, but we need 12 hour. So type get our 12. Right? Now we need minutes. Now, get second. First of all, do the following thing. Multiply. We need this one, integer plus float. Change the value from 0 to 60. Then type plus. 
and add float plus float node. Float nodes are green colored, while integer are turquoise. Okay, let's move on. Connect this one with get minute. Again, multiply. and float to float the value is 60 now I add plus like this connect it with seconds Again, multiply, float to float. Here, change the value to 0 0.008333. Let me show you. We multiply by this value. Then we add maker rotator node. We are going to rotate it by Z. The next node is set relative rotation hour. Connect return value with new rotation. Now add event tick. Connect. So we have done with an hour hand. Now it's the turn of a minute hand. Multiply integer to float. The value is 60 plus float to float. Like this. Multiply again. Float to float. The value is 0 0.1. Additional node. Copy this. Again by Z. Oh, sorry, one more note, set, relative, rotation, minutes. Connect with new rotation. Connect them like this finally a second hand multiply integer to float the value is 6 
copy maker date press ctrl w again by z set relative rotation seconds new rotation and connect like this that's it it's ready now now press compile and save and you can close the with this window. We don't need these objects. We need to take blueprints. Now just press play. You see it shows the same time I have on my computer. Four thirty seven PM. So it was the first option. Now let's do the second one. Let's rename this object to Blueprint Clock CPU or just PC because it shows PC time. Here we need make a little change. Delete this get second node. Add another one. Game time in seconds. And connect it with this one. Like this. Now compile and save. Now press simulate and I will tell you what is the difference. This one, the first clock, shows us PC time. It's the same. And the second one takes hours and minutes from PC, but counts the seconds like in a game. Now, let me tell you about the disadvantages. When you visualize your scene, via cinematics computer is going to slow down and you will get too fast going seconds it happens because a computer is getting slower and time is still passing by so unreal engine thinks that time speed needs increasing but in general it's okay and this clock was created by me to make a fine visualiz visualization you will have normally go in seconds so results are going to be fine
And one more thing. Save all. And go to the scene. Oh, we need to, we needed to press stop. I would like to save cure it as clock BP save. Let's wait, let's wait a little bit. Now, we need to delete these static objects. And add our game time clock. Ninety degrees. Rotate. Like this. Press simulate. And clock is working. And the last thing, when you make build for animated objects, you need to add volume to make them look just the same way as the other objects. This one, light mass character indirect volume. Where is it? Is it too big or what? Let's copy blueprint's position and paste them here. This one. Hundred. Hundred. And here. This volume should cover the entire object. Let's increase a bit, for example, 40. And the height is 40, no, 80, like this. As I said, we added this volume to make animated objects look just the same way as static objects. When static objects are baked, it looks in a slightly different way. Okay, that's all. Press build and wait about 6 hours. And we will have a normal clock with normal speed even. That's all. Bye.